Hello and welcome to how to use your e-reader with Adobe Digital Editions and the e-library from Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. In order to use the online library resources, you must have a valid Newfoundland and Labrador Public Library card. You can get a library card online at www.nlpl.ca under Become a Member. Just follow the directions or refer to our tutorial, How to Get a Library Card Online. Next, identify your device. Is it a Kobo, Nook, or Sony? Kindle e-readers are not compatible with Canadian e-libraries. If you have a Kindle Fire tablet, you can download the Libby app just like any other tablet. Let's find the e-library go to www.nlpl.ca. Now you can find the e-library on the digital library page or go straight to the e-library from the library homepage. Here it is. Click on the e-library or the icon to the left. The e-library homepage looks like this. Click on help on the top right hand corner of the page. This takes you to the OverDrive eLibrary help and support page. You are now on the OverDrive help page. Click devices. A menu of devices will appear. Each will lead you to an individual help page for that particular device. Click eReaders. The page looks like this. Scroll down until you see the word software. Click on Adobe Digital Editions, ADE for Mac or Windows. You are now on the Adobe page. Click download. You now have a choice. Click on the version best suited to your desktop or laptop device. There is a version for Macs and one for PCs. I have a PC, so I'm going to use Windows. A file will appear on the bottom left of your screen. Click to open. A box will appear to request permission to make changes to your computer. Click Allow. Click the box to accept the terms. This software is safe to use. Simply continue to follow the directions on your screen. Another box will appear to ask which files you want to install. Click Next. A box will appear asking where you want the files to be kept. Simply click Install. Once the box indicates the installation is complete, click Close. Success! You have downloaded Adobe Digital Editions. Now we need to authorize your computer. Click Help at the top left of the screen, or at the top left of the box on your screen, next to the word Library. Click Authorize Computer. To ID or not to ID, that is a question. If you choose, to authorize without an ID, Adobe Digital Editions allows you to read a book only on the current device. You will not be able to read it on other e-reader devices or other computers, or the same computer if you reinstall. If you have an ID, simply log in. If you don't, let's create one. Click on Create an Adobe ID.
You are now on the Adobe Login page. Fill in the form provided. You do not need to check the box for email notifications unless you want to. It is not a required field. Click Create Account. You will receive an email from Adobe with a link to verify your email address. You may, ha you may have to wait for some time before receiving the email. Once you have, have validated your account, enter the info and click Authorize. Hooray! You are authorized! A box will appear to indicate your computer has been authorized. Click OK. Now for the fun part. Let's check out a book and put it on your e-reader. Go to the e-library page. The page looks like this. Click Sign In. I hope you have your library card handy. Fill in 13, the 13-digit 13 library card number and your four digit pin. The number is on your library card under the barcode and the pin is usually the last four numbers in your phone number. Using the search bar, let's find a book you would like. I typed in mystery. Hit enter on your keyboard Scroll down until you find a book that is available and one that you would like. Since we're using an e-reader, please choose a book. You can borrow or click on the picture for more information. It'll take you to a page that gives you description, details, reviews. You can even read a sample, sample or click borrow. Another box will appear now you have the option to borrow for 14 days or for seven days. Once you choose, click borrow. A box will appear again, giving you the option to download or read in browser. Download will provide you with a temporary file of your book while the Read in Browser option requires an internet connection to use. EPUB ebooks are the most compatible format. Click Download. A small file box will appear in the lower left of your screen. The name of the file is usually the title of your book. Click to open. Your computer will search out your ADE or Adobe Digital Editions program to open the file. ADE will open. If the program opens to the reading option page of Adobe Digital Editions, you can read from this page if you want. To transfer to your e-reader, you must be on the library page. Simply click the library up at the top left of the screen. This will take you to the library bookshelf screen, which looks like this. This is the screen where you'll find your bookshelves. All the items that you download using Adobe Digital Editions from the e-library will show up on this screen. So very important, make sure your e-reader is connected to your computer. Plug your e-reader charge cord into a USB port on your computer or laptop. Your e-reader should appear in devices. Mine is a Kobo. If not, close out Adobe Digital Editions, replug the device, and reopen ADE Ad Adobe Digital Editions by clicking on the icon on your desktop. It should look something similar to this.
When you plug in your e-reader, make sure you connect. Check the screen of your e-reader and tap connect. This lets your computer recognize the device and then Adobe Digital Editions can find it. Now just click and drag the book to your e-reader. A box will appear letting you know the file is being copied to your device. Once the copying is complete, safely remove your device from your computer. Click on the arrow at the bottom right of your screen or look for an icon that looks like a flash drive or thumb drive and click. Click Eject E-Reader. A box will appear to let you know that it is safe to remove your device. Unplug your device. Once you disconnect your e-reader, it will take a few moments to import the content. Now you're all done. You can check out five books at a time for two weeks at a time. After two weeks or seven days, depending on which time period you chose, your book will become inactive and you will not be able to access it. It is returned itself. No late fees with the e-library. So what do you do if you have problems with Adobe Digital Editions? Do you have an older Kobo or e-reader? ADE Adobe Digital Editions 3.0 appears to be the only stable version of ADE for borrowing ebooks from the new OverDrive website. How do you tell what version of ADE you have? Open ADE and click on the Help option, followed by about digital editions option. There you will find out what version you have. If there is not a help option viewable, then you would click library followed by about Adobe digital editions. It is highly recommended that you do the following if you are currently using any version of Adobe digital editions prior to 3.0 or any version of 4.0 or higher. It is also very important to note that ebooks downloaded, borrowed prior to, trying the following steps may no longer work. You would have to return them to the e-library and borrow them again. Step 1. Open your version of Adobe Digital Editions. Step 2. Connect Kobo e-reader, not Kobo tablet. Erase authorization of your Kobo through ADE. Erase authorization of ADE. Eject your Kobo. Close ADE and uninstall all versions of ADE on your computer. Install ADE 3.0 from http colon forward slash forward slash www.adobe.com forward slash support forward slash digital editions forward slash downloads dot HTML. Authorize ADE. Connect and authorize your Kobo. Open browser. Go to the eLibrary. Borrow and download an ebook. Add your ebook to ADE and then to Kobo. And final step eject Kobo and enjoy your book. Please note. If Adobe Digital Editions 3.0 is already authorized, which it may be due to ADE 3.0 recognizing another version on your computer that is authorized, you will have to deauthorize ADE 3.0 and then reauthorize it. You may also have to do the same for your Kobo device when you reconnect it. Thank you. Any questions or concerns, please contact your local library. Go to www.nlpl.ca under contact. Have a great day.